That is a habit I never had. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel if this isn't the first time that you see my face. Before anybody goes to the comments to say something about my hair, I have a hair appointment in a week. Did I at least try to make my hair look decent for this video? No. If you're disappointed in me, you can talk to my parents how to deal with it, no? So today we are using TikTok hacks to do my makeup. Why? Nobody asked. Because I saw a lot of videos doing this on YouTube and I was like, wow. I want to try that because just like most of you tiktok is the only thing that brings me joy at this point so so the first thing we're gonna do is foundation and i think everybody knows which heck i'm going to use for this it's the moisturizer setting powder face spray primer heck <laughs> i don't know i will put it on the screen right here if you wear makeup watch change your whole routine and try this instead Moisturize first, then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one, and I just lightly dab it all over my face, not too much. Then take some setting spray, it could be any setting spray, I usually use the NYX one. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your fucking makeup is gonna look. And it's gonna stay on 24 seven and it's not gonna crease. It's a technique that's probably still used by so many other people. I heard that it's been used for like a long time, but I just found out about it. And honestly, look, I don't have the beauty filter on. Try it on you and let me know if it works. Okay, so moisturizer. This is just a basic Belgian drugstore Kruidvat moisturizer. Nothing fancy, nothing new. Also, I am breaking out. I have a pimple right here and I have a little pimpity poppity right over there. So we're just gonna ignore those. Um, <laughs> I do have very oily skin. So usually I don't like to use moisturizer and I know that's very bad, but listen, my skin just gets a little excited when I use moisturizer. It's like, oh my God, yay. We can break the fuck out, I guess. Should have put my hair back in a bun. Okay, so I'm expecting like a nice, cute, little, messy bun. Guess we're a Wings Club today. <laughs> so, setting powder. She says she used the Fit Me one, so we're about to do the same because you ain't gonna catch me dead in some other part. Lightly dab it all over your face. This is too blue. Hold on a minute. That's better. Right? Is it? Well, let's hope so. Okay, then setting spray. We are gonna use the Fix Plus. Then letting that dry and putting on my primer. I'm using the High Adherence Silicone Primer by The Ordinary. I haven't been using this one a lot because I haven't been going anywhere and I don't like to use like good primers to dabble at home. But for this video, we're gonna try. I did see like a lot of good reviews about it. Primer, so fingers crossed those people weren't paid to put that there, right? And then just apply our foundation, which is going to be the Double Wear by Estee Lauder. Don't tell me that this is empty. Don't start crying. Like, honestly, that's pretty great. <laughs> and I don't know if it's just because this foundation is just so bomb.com or if it's really because of all of the rest that I did because it's been a really long time since I've worn any foundation. But this is great. I'm gonna do this more often. Anyway, next we have another hack for my eyebrows. Listen, Lily J, I'm gonna look like a werewolf with those brows. But I'm gonna try anyway because they look bomb. They're not look, gonna look great on me, but at least I'll try. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, 
So the midpoint of bridge of nose and inner corner. Mid, mid point of bridge of nose. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. So like this and this and then in between, I think it's like here. Right, okay. Connect middle of Cupid's bow to outer corner. This is your Cupid's bow, right? So like this so like here oh, 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 oh hold on hold on arch measure from outer iris well if you look like this then it's here but if you look like this then it's th connect Okay, and then you have to like fill it in, I guess. <coughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> okay, TikTok, whatever you say. <laughs> Listen, I've been doing the same thing to my brows since I was born, and now I can see that there's a good reason for that. <laughs> but still, <laughs> this is chunky. And I do like the look of a chunky brow, but I guess maybe it's not for me. Just maybe. Okay, but... <laughs> I, it looks like a werewolf bit me and all of his powers are just centered in one eyebrow. <laughs> I look like an Instagram baddie. I look like James Charles in the beginning of his career. Hi, sisters! So, um, I'm probably not going to be using this one again um you know the more i look at it the worse it gets so we're just gonna move on because i have another eyebrow hack the one with the soap which i'm very excited for so today i'm going to show you how to get laminated brows like this you're going to need soap spoolie and some water once you've poured the water on there that's when you start brushing the soap until you get this funky little residue that looks kind of like this then you brush up all your hairs. My hairs are a little bit stubborn, so I have to brush it a little bit harder to make sure it's flat. And of course I have flyaways, so that's when I use my fingers to kind of brush it back and pat it down. It should look something like this. Then you grab your favorite pencil, and you fill in all the blank spots, and give yourself a tail if you need to. And then you're going to grab your spoolie and brush down your brows, like this. And make sure all the hairs are aligned correctly. And that's pretty much it. This is what the other side looks like. Good luck! Okay. Okay, so... Got rid of my block brow to try the next brow hack. Okay. I think, I think we can do something like this. So, I have my soap from Lush. It's called Karma. It smells very nice. Got my spoolie. And now I don't use a brow pencil all that often. I do have this one just in case, but usually I just use some powder. Step one was to make it a little bit wet, which I already did. We got some gunk in the trunk, so just brush it up my brows to lay them flat. I do think that this is something that you should do before <laughs> you put on your foundation because you're just rubbing it off underneath. Okay, I'm just gonna use my finger. <laughs> I look like the Grinch, but that's fine. Okay, so definitely feeling fabulous with my new eyebrows. Now we gotta fill them in. I hope this doesn't ruin my spoolie because it's the only one I have. But I do feel like you could also like just do this with your fingers. Like just make sure that the hairs are all flat. <laughs> so I'm going to take my eyebrow powder in the darkest color to fill in all the little spots. This one is definitely more bold than the other one. <laughs> Okay, and then when you're finished, you have to like push them down, I guess. Grab your spoon and brush down your hair like this. Mm hmm Sure. They don't want to come that 
down. <laughs> Dude, they don't want to come down. Okay, so here they're a little bit more willing. Okay, 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 okay. This side, sure. But this side, they do not want to stay down. Is it supposed to be like a little brushy still? I mean, that's kind of cute. So yeah, definitely do this before you put on your foundation. I mean, this is definitely taking my eyebrow game to the next level. But it's also taking my time to get ready in the morning to a whole different level, so... Okay, so I fixed the foundation around the brows. Like, do I do like it, but I also feel like I need to practice a bit more <laughs> before I can go outside like this. But I do see what what they're trying to do. I don't know why my foundation is getting all clumpy around it. I guess that's it for this hack. Uh -huh. Let's move on to the next one. Because the next one is about eyeshadows. Which I am very excited for because I've been wanting to hop on. I've been wanting to hop on this trend for a long time. So this TikTok is by Bitsy Heegan, Megan Fox, Jessica Howell, Kendall Jenner, Bella Hadid, Y'all, Madison Beer. Hi, my name is Bitsy, and I look nothing like any of these people. But I am here to teach and show you what the power of makeup can do. Now, one thing all these beautiful women are known for is their smoky, sultry, sexy cat eye look. First, we're gonna pretend we have naturally flawless skin with the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. Now, bronzer and blush, and remember, the higher up you put your bronzer and blush, the higher oh, your okay, cheekbones. Oh, okay, we're getting the full transformation here. So, blush. Okay, so contour and blush. The higher on the face, the higher the cheekbones look. So maybe I should put it like here, so my cheekbones would be here. <laughs> now, this usually is the place where I put my highlight, but I guess we're putting the blush here now. Contour. Contour. <laughs> That's really high in my opinion, but you know, we're trying out something new today. We're just, you know, doing it. Okay, then. And for brows, I try to make them go straight out instead of down. Once again, making your face look more lifted. Okay, now eyeshadow here is key. I am literally just using my bronzer. Now, instead of blending up, you want to just go on your eyelid and blend it straight out. And once you have that shape, you can diffuse it a little bit, but don't go too high. Now, you want a nice straight cut line, bring it all the way out. Now, you need a little eyebrow brush and some brown eyeshadow. And following this line, you're just going to go ahead and make a little wing. And then just connect it and line your lashes. Okay, so I'm running out of time, so I'm going to make a part two. Go watch that one to see how it all comes together. So I paused my camera. And I forgot to press play again. So I don't know what I filmed and what I haven't. <laughs> but I just connected the brown eyeshadow to my lower lash line. I did the little spikes in between with the brown eyeshadow and I fixed this side because it looked very bad. I hope I filmed it. I don't know. So sorry. I'm a disappointment. So this is what we have right now. I think it looks kind of okay. Next step is to take some almost dry mascara and brush your eyelashes to the side. So this one's almost empty. So I'm just gonna brush those to the side. Listen, I feel like I have to curl them because otherwise you're not gonna see anything. I don't know if this is breaking the rules, but if it is, I'm a rebel. Rebel, rebel. Okay, so she's talking about how she cut her eyelashes like one third, but I already do that anyway because I have very short little eyes. So for them to actually fit my eyes, I already have to cut them like halfway through. So when you put these on, you have to lift them a little bit higher than where you would usually put them. So we're gonna try that out and see if it actually works. So that's one lash on. I did lift it a little bit at the ends. See, this is what I mean with a lash can save everything. So I'm gonna apply the other one. Also lifting it a bit up at the end. I will be right back. 
maybe I did put this one a little bit too far back, but I do think I kind of look fire right now. The next hack I am also very excited for because it's about fake freckles and I love a good fake freckle every once in a while. So I'm going to take a cheaper alternative to the setting spray that she's using because I have it but I'm not gonna waste that on this you know so she sprays the setting spray inside the little thingy majiggy the cap glitch right and she takes her bronzer stirs in it Getting me shit all over my desk, that's great. Okay, so just dip your brush in it then, I guess. Taking a little fluffy brush, just like hers. <laughs> oh god. Dude. Do you see this? I have freckles, are you kidding me? Dude, that's so fucking easy. But you do have to make sure that your brush isn't like too wet, too wet, because otherwise it starts dripping, but oh my god! Dude, I want freckles all over the fuck my face. Bleh. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really good. That's awesome! I'm so freaking excited about this. I'm definitely doing that again. 10 out of 10. So the last hack is one for your lips. So I'm gonna show you guys how I used to overdraw my lips versus now because I've discovered some tricks that literally have just changed the game for me. So this is how I used to do it. I would just overdraw the top lip and it looked too heavy. I didn't like it. So what I do now is I go in a round shape. So I go straight across the cupid's bow and then on the center of the bottom lip. So just focusing on the center of your upper and bottom lip, not the sides. Then I contour my lips and I add my lipstick. And now this next part literally has changed the game, okay? take a q-tip and you go against the sides of the lip and you make it shorter and oh my gosh your upper lip looks so much bigger and so much more natural kind of like an instagram filter but cute you know what i'm saying like oh, i love it so much try it out Let me okay um we're gonna try it out so lip liner got this little nude one that's almost finished she does like ha like a half circle around her lips but she doesn't drag it through so she stops right here i think also on the bottom lip just in the center lipstick i look like a clown i'm using this essence lipstick matte 02 This feels so weird. My lips look so small on the side. I don't know if I like it. But now the big finale that she says changed her life. So just make it shorter on the sides, which is so weird. I look like a bread stall <laughs> and I'm not mad at it. I do like it. But I like my lips better with a cupid's bow because now it's just round and I have a very defined cupid's bow so it just like you can see that I just didn't draw it, it looks kind of weird in real life but on camera I look snatched to the gods but like the little thing from the sides like taking a little bit away from the sides that that looks nice so as a conclusion what worked what didn't work let me take down my hair not that it looks better that way but just because i can hide my forehead a little bit better like that look at those roots i'm ashamed would y'all look at that oh my god who is she is she Gigi Hadid is she Bella Hadid is this Kendall Jenner no it's not it's just your neighborhood whore 
So as a little conclusion, what are the things that I'm gonna use in my daily routine? The eyebrows. Like I keep looking at them in the mirror and I'm like, honey, honey. And you can also like, they're a little crusty, but not too crusty. Like you can still move them and they're not going to move. You can just feel they're very sturdy. They're not going anywhere. Also the freckles those are here to stay it's so easy just put a little a little droppity droppity of fixing spray inside of a cap and then just dip your bronzer in it it's great so let's set this beach like the true queen that <coughs> ew tastes like horse's ass so if you like this video if you like this look if you like me don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a little comment down below what you thought of the hacks that i used would you use any of those yourself or not also don't forget to subscribe i make new videos every week anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one